Hello, Rosemary. <laughs> Hello. Sanitizándose. <How> yes. <laughs> Sometimes I forget and I touch things, you know. So tengo que estar siempre, cada vez que me acuerdo, sanitary. Sanitary. <laughs> Vaya. Yeah. Uy, pero eso como le reseca las manos a uno. Fíjese que en mi caso, gracias a Dios, no. nunca, nunca me ha pasado que se seque o que me dé alguna alergia, nada, gracias a Dios. Ah. Y es que soy bien, uh, soy algo delicado de la piel. Y, y ah. al inicio de la, de, la, de la emergencia me puse a pensar que, que cómo me iban a reaccionar mis manos, pero gracias a Dios, sin novedad. Ya, yeah. eso aquí estamos. Ay, Cada cuánto completo. Ocupo? Perdón. A mí sí se me rajaron las, las manos por completo, la piel. Really. Así que tuve que comprar a, a, o sea, rajadita, rajadita. Este, pero ya, ya bien. O sea, lo que trato de usar es menos alcohol gel y más irme a lavar las manos. Sí, sí. Y lavarse las manos, pues, mm -hmm. es más efectivo. Ajá. Y, y, pero hacer, lavárselo bien, pues, 40 seconds, I mean, wash your hands well. Y como sí. complemento está bien el, el, el sanitizer. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yep. Ok, so, ya casi empezamos. Thank you. All right. What time is it? Do you know the time? Osman, how are you, Osman? Tiene apagado su micrófono. Excuse me, teacher. No I problem. Am okay. Good. And you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. It's okay, Friday. Okay. It's Friday. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Stephanie. How are you? I am fine. You? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Thank you. How was your day? I was a good day. Good. What is your favorite day of the week, Stephanie? It's Saturday. Because I, I don't work on Sunday. Good. And Sunday, so relax. Good. Yeah, Sundays are usually quiet you know so if you go outside less traffic fewer people so i think it's a quiet day but it depends where you go it depends where you go rose how are you rose good evening Fine, good thanks. evening nice how was your friday good but uh -huh. i feel sick <laughs> really what yes. sim what symptoms do you have how do you say calofrios chills chills yeah chills. I, was, I was look i was looking i i found shaking chills uh well if you're going like this then it's a, a shaking, shaking chill, chill. Uh, yeah but if, if it's you, so if you when you're 
How do you say piel de gallina? Yeah, chicken skin. Ah. Yeah. So if it's only the sensation, you say chills. I get the chills. Ah. But if you start moving your your body, then it's the one you ah, say. It's shaking chills. Exactly. But in general, I feel okay. Good. You feel good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Feel that's, good. that's 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 the attitude. That's the attitude. Okay. You know, today I was feeling a little bit tired when I woke up. And, uh, but I said, well, it's Friday. You know, we have to change our mentality <laughs> and be positive. <laughs> yes. Yeah, positive. <laughs> I was feeling tired. So yes, I have, I have to do homework on the weekend. Which homework? With my, with my kids. What grade is he in? He's in fifth grade. Fifth grade. You yeah. have two children, right? Yeah, two. And the other one? He's in, is he? he's, he's in high school. What the grade? First year. First year. Okay. Good, mm -hmm. good. So yes. you spend more time doing homework with the little with the little one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's it's so difficult, but <laughs> yeah, but. you know, I, I I tell my wife when I want we, to I want to kill him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to be patient. Yes, you have to be patient. But, but okay. I learn yeah. I learn so much. Exactly, exactly. Because yeah. nowadays homework is for the parents, not for the children. Yes. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Anyways, welcome back, everybody. Rosemary, Rosalena, Stephanie, and Osman. Welcome back. What time is it? What's the time? It's, it's A09. In my computer, but in yeah. my phone is A04. I have. 8042. Okay. 804. Okay. So what time is your life skill training? What time? What time is your life skill training? Do you remember life oh, skill? Oh, at eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, exactly. But because English is a life skill. It's a life skill. <laughs> y eso ustedes lo han comprobado. Life skill. It's a life skill. English is a life skill. It's not a subject. It's a life skill. Yep. Okay, so it's 8.05. What is today's date? Today is Friday. Friday fight. Fifth. Fifth. I'm sorry, fifth. Yes. Today is Friday the fifth. Which month? February. February. Fre February. 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 <laughs> February. Uh, so today is Friday. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow. Uh huh. What's tomorrow? Saturday. Saturday. Uh huh. Saturday. Saturday. Uh huh. What was the day before yesterday? Wednesday. 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 Yes. The day before yesterday was Wednesday. What's the day after tomorrow? On Sunday. Sunday. Exactly. ¿Con qué letra van escritos los días de la semana? Capital letter. Capital letter. Letras mayúsculas, all the time, always. 
Remember that Spanish is one thing. Uh, English is completely different. So in English, when you spell days, you use capital letters. What about the months? Capital letters. Capital letters too. Languages? Yes. Uh, capital letters. Capital letters. Yes. Cities. Nationalities. Cities. Nationalities. Names. 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 Exactly. Proper nouns too. Proper nouns. So in English, names, days, months, languages, nationalities, cities, countries, all those examples are written with, um, with capital letters. With capital letters. All right. What is your mother tongue? What is your mother tongue? Spanish. Good, Spanish. Ahí se lo voy a poner en el chat. My mother tongue is Spanish. A town or tongue? Tongue. Tongue. T T O W N. No. T O N G U E. Tongue. A lengua. Yeah, tongue. Yeah. So El your, idioma de mi mamá. No, su idioma materno. Ah, idioma materno. Yeah, your mother tongue. Or your mother language. Yes. So that's uh, it's Spanish. Okay, so do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Hey, sorry. Yeah, ask me, Luis. And when you say my, no, it's my mother's, no. No. In that case, you say la lengua de mi mamá. El idioma de mi mamá. Uh -huh. But if you say so mother, case, uh -huh. mother tongue is lengua materna. Ah, okay, okay. Right. All right. So do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? I see new faces today. Caras nuevas. Gente que había estado de vacación. The topic about yesterday is the yes or not questions. Uh -huh. They use simple present. Right. Yes, no questions in simple present. What are the three forms of verb to be in present? The three forms of verb to be in present. Mm -hmm. Who remembers? Who remembers? Quien se acuerda? I use uh, you. Is M R is. Exactly. M is R. Those are the three forms of verb to be in present. Am is are. What are the two forms of verb to be in past? Was. Was and were. Was, was and were. Was and were. Let me write it in the chat. Okay, so in present, we have am was. is and number four is wasn't. Okay, am is are is what we have in present. If we're talking about past, we have was and listen carefully, were, not where, were, was, were. How do you say donde estaba usted? Where were you? Uh huh. Where were you? Where were you? You don't say, where were you? You say, where were you? Where were you? 
Now, in, in present, we have three forms. In past, we only have two. Why? Why? It's very simple. Where is used for I, you? Uh-huh. And, and, and they, you, and we. Right. And what's only for his sheet? Okay, so in, in present we have three options. In, in yes. past we only have two. Why? Because am and is become one. Am and is become yes. one. So what is the past tense of I am? I was. I was. What is the past tense of she is? She was. Uh-huh. So am and is become was. And are becomes were. Exactly. Any questions? No questions? And, and where is for you, we, and they? You, we, they, exactly. You, we, they, right. So we have, how many tenses are there in English? ¿Cuántos tiempos hay en inglés? Twelve. Twelve. Exactly, twelve tenses. ¿En cuántas partes se divide la gramática en inglés? Eight. 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 Very good. Eight. So, ¿qué, ¿qué número, qué evento usted lo puede representar con el número ocho? Dijimos que decíamos los doce apóstoles, los doce meses del año. Uh, y ocho, ¿qué, ¿qué tan emblemático tenemos aquí en el país? Nothing. Ocho, ¿qué? Anyway, so la primera vez que le, que la próxima vez que le pregunte, ¿cuántos tiempos hay? You make the connection, you make the relation with 12 months or, or uh, any other event or circumstance. ¿Cuántas partes tiene la gramática? Ocho. Any questions or comments? I guess not. All right, so let me ask you, what is the model that we use to talk about future events? Will or going to? Excellent, will and going to. What's the, grammatically speaking, what's the difference between those two? Grammatically speaking. Now, in a real conversation, you can say, tomorrow I'm going to work, tomorrow I will work. Same thing, but grammatically speaking, there is a difference. What is the difference? If you're talking about plans, you say going to. If you're talking about possibilities, you say will. So how do you say, Tal vez iré al estadio. I'm going to go to the... Tal vez. Tal it's... vez iré al estadio. Maybe, maybe I will go to the stadium. Right. Grammatically speaking, you should say, uh, maybe I'll go to the stadium. Pero si es parte de su agenda y usted tiene ahí, mañana a las tres vamos a ir a ver ganar el alianza. Entonces usted va a decir, no va a decir will, sino que va a decir... Exactly, going to, going to. So going to is para planes, is for your agenda. Will is for possibilities. But we're talking about the birth to be in future or this is something else. Uh, right, in future, in future, yeah, yeah. Why, why am I asking you this? Because your next activity, you guys will work in pairs and you will talk about your future events. So, fíjese bien, lo voy a poner a trabajar en pareja 
y usted le va a preguntar a su compañero. What plans do you have for the weekend? Weekend. What plans do you have for the weekend? Usted va a responder. I am going to visit the museum. ¿Qué va a hacer según el ejemplo que le acabo de poner? Visitar un museo. Ajá, tal vez tal visitaré vez. un museo. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Uh, visitaré un museo, sí. Ahora, si es una posibilidad, usted dice, maybe I will stay home. Stay home. Maybe I will stay home. ¿Qué dice ahí en ese último? Tal vez me quede en casa. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. So once again, si es una posibilidad, you say maybe, uh, you say will. Si es un plan que ya tiene en su agenda, usted va a decir going to. Pero eso es gramaticalmente hablando. En la vida real, usted puede decir, maybe I'm going to visit a museum. O tal vez usted dirá, uh, I will stay home. Aunque sea una posibilidad, uh, maybe I'm going to stay home. So, those are the main differences. Any questions? No, entonces vamos a trabajar en pareja. Vamos a ver acá. Gracias por estar presentes. Let's see this here. All right, so here we go. Talk about your weekend. Go ahead. Si necesita ayuda con vocabulario, please let me know. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, teacher. I am long. <laughs> yes, uh, you're supposed to be working with Osmin, but Osmin is not connecting. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. No problem, teacher. So, what do you work tomorrow, Stephanie? Yes, I work, but I work for two hours. Two hours. Uh -huh, because when I finish the work, I have a class. I What class do you I'm have? I'm going to uh, finals. Uh, how do you say contabilidad? Accounting. Accounting, three. Oh, uh, is that in the university? Uh, no, it's for home. Okay, but... But who's teaching you? What institution is teaching you? What? What institution is teaching uh, it's you? It's for, for university. Cristiana de las de Dios. Okay, good, good. What semester are you studying? It's my third year. 
Good. Very good. Don't stop, Stephanie. Uh, no, no. Don't stop. Education is not everything, but it opens many doors. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one of my plans when I finish the university, I have a new career. Um, or it's for the implying for the uh, inter how do you say intercambio? Exchange. Uh, for a change for another country or I am planning to the, uh, how do you say, uh, como se dice? Um, what is the word in Spanish? Uh, como maestría. Masters. Uh, for a master degree for another country. Good, good. So you will be a bilingual accountant. Yes, because uh, the English is for more important to study because it's a, a first a language for another country. Exactly, exactly. Good, good. That's a good thinking. Nice. Uh, thank you. Congratulations. And Ah, uh, teacher, how do you say los papás de la esposa de mi hermano? O sea, los nueros. How do you say that in English? <laughs> los papás de quién? <laughs> de la esposa de mi hermano. Los papás de la esposa de mi hermano. Okay, <laughs> my brother's wife, parents. Ajá, my, bro ah, my brother's say, wife, parents. But you don't say nueros or something like that, a, a specific word? No, pero los papás de la uh -huh. novia de su hermano, de usted no son nada. Ajá. Uh -huh. ah. explico? Son de su hermano. Ajá, son de su hermano, correcto. So if you want to say... Entonces, ¿qué son? ¿Qué son? Ajá. Eh, 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 su hermano con los papás de su esposa, ellos son sus parents-in-law. Uh -huh. Parents in law. Uh -huh. El, ellos es su son in law. Ah. Pero, uh -huh. ¿qué, ¿qué es nuero entonces? Yerno. No, no existe nuero. No, existe, no. no ye, uh, yerno es for men. Y uh -huh. nuero es para mujer. Exactly. Ok. Oh, so, I was confused then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, if it's for a woman, you say daughter in law. Mi nuera. Uh -huh. If you want to uh -huh. say mi yerno, you say my son-in-law. Son-in-law. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, okay, yes. So remember that... And you can... Uh-huh, go ahead. Yes, Rose. You have... You, uh, can I say my in-laws? Yes. When you yes. say my in-laws... Yes. But uh -huh. that... Uh, when you say my in-laws, that involves all the family. It can involve your parents-in-law, your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law. Because when you say your in-laws, what you're saying is you're making reference to your wife's family or to your husband's family. In general. Okay. In general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to be very specific, you say... It's for, an, it's for an extended family. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So when you say, I'm going to visit my in-laws, you will see... All their family. All the, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how it is. Okay. okay. How, how, how did you, did you say? Cuando quería decir con la con el, los padres de la esposa de mi hermano, tal cual. Yeah. With my my brother's wife parents. Ah, uh -huh, my brother's wife. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. they are they are family to your brother, but they are nothing to you. So my brother's wife, my brother's wife, wife, parents, but parents. brothers. No, my, my brother's wife, parents, los papás okay. de la esposa de mi hermano. Aha. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, okay. Yep. And, and there is a lot of terminology related with, with family members, you know, and we use them all the time. 
Mm -hmm. yep. uh, and how do you say park in, in English? Park. 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 Uh -huh. Because if, if I say I'm going to Bicentenario Park, that's it's correct. Good. It's good. Okay. Yeah, because Bicentenario is a proper noun. So uh -huh. proper nouns many times do not translate. Mm -hmm. They don't translate. Yes. It's, it's like say to the Tunco Beach. Exactly. The name, the name is Tunco and that's it. Right, right, right. If I if I say I going to Catedral, Cathedral, 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 ah, Cathedral. Yeah, yeah, because okay. Cathedral, they, there is a word in English that is very similar. Ah, okay. And it's Cathedral. Cathedral. Okay. But then you have to say which Cathedral? Santana Cathedral. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, San Salvador. Uh huh. But when when you ask Spanish guy and you say Cathedral. Uh, some people look at you like, why are you saying cathedral? You speak Spanish, you say catedral. I no, but, ca but cathedral is the word in English too. But ah, you it's the word in English. Yeah, okay. you, you, you spell it like this. Cathe cathedral. Like that. You see the chat? Ah, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, cathedral. So it's a, it's a, it's a word that exists in English. Okay, okay. Right. So it's not a Spanish word uh, mispronounced. No, it's, it's cathedral. It's an English word. So you say, I'll, I will go to the cathedral. To that. Exactly. Exactly. I will go to the cathedral. San Salvador Cathedral, Santana Cathedral, they're very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Architecture is, is really nice. Yep. Okay, okay. Let, let me visit another group. Uh -huh. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Hi, Juan. Janet, were you on vacation yesterday? <laughs> and I, I went to my house late. Oh, where do you live, uh, Miss Morales? In Lourdes. Oh, yeah, you live in Lourdes, right. What time do you usually arrive to your house? I would like to say six. Maybe. Media hora? How do you say Half media? hour. Half hour. Half hour. Half hour, yes. Power. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Okay, Jessica. But when, uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ma, but uh, when there is traffic. When there is traffic. When there is traffic. You take hour. more. Where do you work, Janet? In Colón. You work in Colón. Yes. What part of Colón? Colón, Colón. Yeah, uh, yes. Okay. All right. Jessica, were you on vacation yesterday? Jessica. Hola. Estuvo de vacación usted ayer. Sí. <laughs> no, no, no. Lo que pasa es que ya vine un poco tarde a mi casa de trabajo. Okay. Y usted dijo, ah, sí. mejor hasta mañana, vi. Estaba, es que me atrasé bastante en la semana, en el trabajo. Ok. Entonces me, me tocó quedarme. All right, good. En Marta Rodríguez, were you on vacation yesterday? Es que tuve una emergencia en el trabajo. Ajá, ok. Y no fueron vacaciones que se puedan decir. Ok. <laughs> Very good. Yo pensé que habían estado viendo televisión ahí tranquilas y miraban el reloj y decían, ah, todavía hay clase. No, claro que no. Ok, very good. Voy a visitar otro salón. Nice talking mm -hmm. with you. Ok. Eh, vamos a usar el will. El will es para el futuro, pero es como posibilidades. Will uh -huh. se escribe doble B y L. -L. Okay. ¿En qué página estaban trabajando? No, en ninguna. 
Mm, es un free ah, no, topic. En ninguna. Free topic. Okay. Ajá. Okay. Muy bien. El going to se usa para planes ya agendados. Ok. Entonces la actividad es como que yo le diga a usted qué planes va a tener el fin de semana. Y ya sé, usted me eh, va a decir, I will go, I will, como de alguna posibilidad, o I am going to. Que pero que ya tiene como especificados esos planes. Okay. Entonces Exacto. vamos a hacer algunas oraciones sobre ese. Ajá, sobre los planes que a... usted tiene para el fin de semana. Ok. Ajá, digamos, yo le voy a preguntar a usted, do you have any plans for the week? Uh -huh. Y usted me va a contestar ya sea con will o going to. Exactly. Me voy a levantar un par de segundos, permítame. Ok. Eh, me avisa cuando ya esté listo. Permítame. Estaba ahí. Actividades. Good evening, Mark. Me avisa Marta. Y así le... O si no le entiende, le vuelve a explicar, ¿verdad? Ok, una, una de las actividades, una de las actividades que, que Dios nos permite levantarnos, pues vamos a hacer este, eh, what, 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 what the family, o sea, vamos a ir de paseo con la familia. I'm, I'm going to, sería. Oh, ¿cómo se? I went. Vaya, es que. Sería, y el paseo con la familia sería I going to go to visit eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo era? ¿Cómo dijo? Eh, iremos de paseo con la familia I'm going to ¿Cómo? No se le escucha, teacher We are going to go are... out with the family We are going to go out with the family. Pero ella dice de paseo, la palabra paseo, perdón, teacher. Go out, salir. Cuando usted dice go out y salir es ir a pasear. Ah, o sea, all... Go out. 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 Y eso implica eh, pasear. Pasear. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Hello, ladies. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les va? Bien, bien. Bien. Ahí ya hicimos la, la tarea, la tarea. Very good. Very good. ¿Ya están listas para el fin de semana? Ya. Yeah. Do you have plans for the weekend? ¿Tienen planes para el fin de semana? En caso, I'm going to... ¿Por qué lo hice? Ahí está. I'm going to training in the office. Ajá. Ok, good. No sé, capacitación. <laughs> yeah, una capacitación. I'm going to training in the office. Is that tomorrow? Saturday. Saturday. How many yes. hours is the training, Antonia? How many hours? Um, ¿Qué le pregunto? No How many hours? How many hours? 
¿Cuántas horas? Ajá. Ah, ah. Y digamos, digamos, yo le digo, I have sí. children. I have children. ¿Qué le estoy diciendo ahí? ¿Cuántos niños? No. I have children. Tengo niños. Tengo, Tengo hijos. Ajá. Entonces usted me pregunta, how many? Uh, how many significa cuántos. ¿Cuántos? How many? So, how many hours is the training, Antonia? Eight. Eight hours. Yes. That's a long training. Porque generalmente los training, bueno, dependiendo el, el, el tema, pero los training pueden ser tres horas y media, cuatro, cinco. Ahí depende qué tanto quieran profundizar. ¿Ya? Yep. Sí, desde ocho. Okay. All right. Y training de qué es? What is the training about? Eh, manejo del tiempo. Time management. Time management. Ya, yeah, time management. Y mire que muchos accidentes de carro se dan por time management. La gente va corriendo que quieren estar de Lourdes al centro de San Salvador en 20 minutos. That's impossible. Sí, sí. Ahí se lo voy a poner ahorita. Time management. Time management. Time management. Sí. Ah, okay. Yeah. Time management. When you apply time management, you are more productive. La gente se vuelve más productiva. Time management. Yes. Time management. Exactly. All right, so let's go back to the main session, people. Vamos a regresar a la, a la sesión primaria. Hola, amor. Dios le bendiga. Dios, amor. Dios le bendiga. Hi. <laughs> Hola. Good evening or good night? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Guste verles. Pero sí, igual. <laughs> Me conecté bien tarde. Tenía, tenía este problema de horario, pero... Ya no sabía. importa. Lo que importa es que ya esté aquí. <laughs> exactly. Eso es lo que importa, que usted se conecte. Very good. Especially on a Friday. Los viernes es más difícil que la gente se conecte. But that's good. All right. Any questions about how to speak in future? How do you say voy a lavar el carro? I'm going to wash the, the car. Excellent. I'm going to wash the car. How do you say tal vez ayude a mi mamá? I will help my to mother. Help to my... Maybe. Maybe I will. Probably. Okay. Perhaps. Ahorita Teacher, lo voy a poner. I have a question. When I use ah. will, always I use maybe, sometimes, or maybe. Ok, ahorita le digo. Probably. Fíjese bien. Esas tres que le acabo de poner ahí, they are synonyms. And they express possibility. So, si usted mm -hmm. quiere decirle, tal vez voy a ayudar a mi mamá, usted va a decir, maybe I will help my mother. Perhaps I will help my mother. Or probably I will help my mother. The three are synonyms. 
son sinónimos. So, how do you say tal vez lea el periódico? Tal vez lea el periódico. Maybe, maybe I will read the newspaper. Exactly. Maybe I will read the newspaper. How do you say me voy a quedar en casa? I'm going to out to my house. I'm going, I'm going to, to stay home. I'm going to stay home. Uh, I'm going to stay home. So, como les decía al inicio, en una conversación verdadera, usted puede ocupar will o puede ocupar going to y en ambas la gente le entiende que está hablando en futuro. Gramaticalmente hablando, si es una posibilidad, usted debería decir will. Si es algo que va a suceder según sus planes, usted va a ocupar going to. Any questions? Ok, Janet Morales, dígame algo que usted va a hacer este fin de semana o que tal vez va a hacer este fin de semana. I'm going to the church. I'm going to church. Very good. Luis, what are you going to do this weekend? Uh, I'm going to the beach to good. surf in the morning. All right, good, good. Rosalena. What plans do you have for the weekend? Going to Bicentenario, Bicentenario Park Good. with my daughter. Excellent. Rosemary, can you tell me one of your plans? I am I'm going to work in the house. Good. Osmin, what plans do you have? Okay, I am going to visit my friend. Excellent. Stephanie Martinez, what are your plans? I'm going to work on Sunday. Good. Jessica Escamilla? I'm going to the visit grandmother. I'm going to visit my grandmother, Marta Rodriguez. Okay. I'm going for a well. No sé, para paseo, well. Oh, okay. Caminata. I'm going for a walk. I was. I'm uh, going. I was. For a walk. For a walk. Uh -huh. Good. Good. I I was for a walk. I'm going for a walk. Marta Rodriguez. Maybe visit the park with my family. Good. Maybe I will visit the park with my family, Antonia. I'm going to training in the office. Good. I'm going to a training in the office. Very good. Any questions or comments, class? If I say, for example, weekend is Saturday and Sunday. Uh -huh. I have to be specific with the day. For example, uh, I'm going to the Bicentenary Park with my daughter on Saturday. Yeah. It, because if, can I go on Sunday? Exactly. Exactly. So you can say, uh, if you can be very specific, you mention Saturday or you mention Sunday. Yeah. Okay. okay. Exactly. Any other questions, class? Yes. How do you say Boda Civil? Civil wedding. Civil wedding. Yes. Civil Boda wedding. Religiosa, re religious wedding. Or, or church wedding. Church, church wedding. Church wedding, oh. yeah. Church wedding. Mm -hmm. Not religious, church. Uh, no, you can say or religious. You can say both. Yeah, you can say both. Because okay. re religious and church, you know, they're connected. They directly connected. Mm -hmm. So the two options are good. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? No. All right. So let's begin. You need to open your book to page. What what page did we cover yesterday? Twenty-five. Let me see. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yes, twenty-five, I think. Right, right. Okay, can you see my book? 
Yes. Okay. We have questions using does. When do you use does? When Which... you're going to do a question with she, it, or he. Okay, excellent. When you're going to make a question with he, she, or it. Good. So um, remember, the auxiliary that you use in the question has to be included in the answer. Entonces, pregúnteme si voy a ir. Pregúnteme si voy a ir. Así bien general. Are you going? Are you going? Yes, I am. Oh, usted me pudo haber preguntado. Will you go? Yes, I will. So el auxiliar, el model that you're using in the question has to be included in the answer. Con el auxiliar que le hacen la pregunta, con ese mismo debe de responder. Right? En este caso, le están haciendo preguntas con does. La respuesta, si es positiva, tiene que repetirse el das. So, digamos que estamos hablando de su hermana. Y yo le pregunto, um, does she have children? Does she have children? What would be the answer? Yes, she has. Yes, she does. Yes, yes, she, does. yes she does. Yes, she does. What if the answer is negative? Does she have children? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, so look at the example. Does she ask for assistance? ¿Qué pregunta ahí? What's the meaning of ask? Preguntar. O? Eh, pedir permiso. Pedir. Pedir nomás. So, si digamos usted está comiendo y de repente por error se le cae el cuchillo, su, su, la persona que le está haciendo compañía le dice, ask for another one. Pida otro. Ask significa pedir y también significa preguntar. Pedir o preguntar. Entonces yo le digo, can I ask you a question? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando ahí? Can I ask you a question? ¿Te puedo hacer una pregunta? Ajá, ¿te puedo preguntar algo, por ejemplo? No, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, can I ask you a question? says, no, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. Right, right. Okay, so does she ask for assistance? Be the, what, what is assistance? What's the meaning of assistance? Eh, como asistencia. Asistente. Asistencia, what do you mean assistencia? Uh, someone that will help me for do some, to do something. Right. Yeah, assistance means ayuda. Assistance. Porque asistencia no decir, ok, voy a pasar asistencia y se puede eh, tender a confundir. Does she ask for assistance? Pide ella ayuda. What about number two? Does she drive the truck on weekends? ¿Qué, qué significa, perdón, o cómo? Yeah, what's the meaning? Does he drive the truck on weekends? Ah, ella maneja camiones en, al fin de semana. Él, él. El. Mm -hmm. eh, perdón, él, sí. Ya, yeah. él maneja el camión el fin de semana. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, he does. Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Well, no, he doesn't. Uh -huh. Antonia, ¿qué dice la número tres? Does Elena make phone calls? Does Elena make phone calls? No lo encuentro. Creo. Ah, does Elena make phone calls? Ajá. Uh -huh. Si Elena, ¿qué le están preguntando? Tiene llamada. Eh. Make, make. What's the meaning of make? Hacer, hacer. hacer. Ajá. Hacer. Si Elena hace llamadas Una telefónicas. Llamada. Ajá. Y el último dice, does our company check the policies? ¿Cuál es la pregunta ahí? Si nuestra compañía verifica yeah. las yeah. reglas yeah. o políticas. Ok, ya, yeah. reglas, políticas. Ok. Any questions there? So, fíjese bien. Ahorita vamos empezando haciendo preguntas con el do y el das. 
Does she have children? Does she work every day? Does she have a car? Ya la próxima semana, ya no solo son con do it does, sino que usted ya le pone una palabra adicional a la pregunta. Entonces, ¿cómo usted me va a preguntar por qué ella dice eso? ¿Por qué ella dice eso? Why does she say that? Exactly. Why does she say that? Ajá. Pregúnteme, ¿cuándo va a venir ella? When, when do you work? When does he go? What's his... When does... When ¿Cuándo does viene she... ella? ¿Cuándo viene when ella? Does, when, does she, when does she arrive? When does she arrive? When does she come? Exactly. When does she come? Exactly. Yes. All right. Any questions there? So, fíjese bien. Vamos a hacer el ejercicio 5. El ejercicio 5 está bastante fácil. I have a question. Yes, sir. When you say, when does she come, it's comes. When does she no. comes? When does she come? Ah. Ya usted está hablando de su prima. Mire, y, y, y qué tal la fulana, da, 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 y usted pregunta, ¿y cuándo viene ella? When does she come? Mm -hmm. Okay, so fíjese bien. Um, one, two, three, four. In the book, you have four statements, four answers. What is your mission? Usted tiene que hacerle una pregunta a cada ejercicio que casen, que hagan juego. Entonces, let me give you an example. Si yo le digo, uh, I have Give me a second. We go there on Saturdays. ¿Qué le digo ahí? We go there on Saturdays. Iremos ahí los sábados. ¿Perdón? Iremos ahí los sábados. O vamos, estaremos ahí. Vamos, vamos a ir los sábados. sábados. Vamos, vamos a ir los, los sábados. sábados. We go there on Saturdays. ¿Cuál fue la pregunta? What was the question? Ahí vamos los sábados. Ok. I, ah, la question. Que... La question. Nosotros vamos allá los sábados. Do we, go there? Sábado? Do we go there on Saturdays? Do we go there on Saturdays? We go there on Saturdays. Ajá. Uh -huh. O oh, usted pudo haber preguntado. Do you, go to, do you go to the market on Saturday? Yeah, you can say that. Specific. Yeah, or you can say, when do you go? When do when you do go? go? Oh, okay. ¿Cuándo va usted? ¿Cuándo van ustedes? Ah, nosotros vamos los sábados. It's when do you go? Yeah, when do you go? Obviamente haciendo referencia a algo que fue previamente mencionado. When do you go? Y la respuesta es, we go there on Saturdays. We go there on Saturdays. Any questions? No? Ok, entonces. Dice la número uno. Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. Sí, él lo hace. Él arregla el aire acondicionado los viernes. ¿Qué le habrán preguntado? Does he fix the AC? When? When does he? Ok, when does he fix the AC? Puedo haber dicho como dijo Luis. Does he fix the AC? Or when does he fix the AC? Hay diferentes maneras de hacer preguntas para que hagan juego con lo que está ahí escrito. Ok. So I will give you, how many minutes do you need? Para hacer esas preguntas, five minutes? Three. Three minutes? Okay, vamos a ver. Eh, start doing it y de ahí vamos a ver cuánto tiempo le damos.
One more minute, one more minute. Okay, volunteer for number one. Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. Uh, when does he fix the AC? Yes, he does. When does he fix the AC? Okay, but listen to this. Um, yes, he does. Es la, la primera respuesta, la primera porción de la respuesta es la que debe de hacer juego con la pregunta. Entonces, eh, what would be a question for, yes, he does, he fixes the AC on Friday. Luis, one more time. When does he fix the AC? Ok, cuando él arregla el aire. Entonces, yes, he does, no hace juego cuando le preguntan acerca de cuándo. Okay, so it's, it's does he fix exactly. the AC? Does he fix the AC? Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. AC is air conditioner, right? Exactly. Exactly. AC, air conditioner. ¿Cómo se le llaman a esas palabras como AC? Que dice, encender el AC, apagar el AC. Nos están diciendo letras, pero esas letras representan algo. Eh, abreviaturas, pero ¿cómo se, no me acuerdo cómo se dice en inglés. Siglas. Acronyms. ¿Cómo? Acronyms. Así can, se can, you write, can you write sure. it down? Yeah, right now. Acronyms. Acronyms, ahí está. Si yo le digo qué significa NYPD, ¿qué significará? New York Police Department. Exactly. So that is an example of an acronym. NYPD. Usted dice, my sister works for IS. What is IS? Instituto Social, el Seguro Social. Right. So acronyms, they exist in English and they also exist in Spanish. So those are acronyms. All right, very good. Uh, otro voluntario para la número dos. Yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Does she see many emails? Oh. Uh -huh. Good, Marta. Does okay. she send many emails to customers? To yes, she does. Yes. She sends many yes, emails to customers. Yes. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Does she send many emails to customers? Yes, she does. Yes, she yes. sends many emails to customers. ¿Qué le están preguntando ahí, Marta? Um, ahí sería de que... Does she send... Many emails to customers. ¿Qué, qué le estarán preguntando? ¿Qué significa Ella envía hacer? muchos correos a los clientes. Ajá. Enviar. Ella envía muchos correos. 
uh -huh. a, a los clientes, the customers. What is okay. another form? What is another form to say customers? Client. Clients. Clients. Clients uh -huh. and customers are synonyms. Clients and customers are synonyms. Yes. Yes. What about number three? No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. That she cleans, cleans the first floor. Ok. Fíjese bien lo que le decía. La primera parte de la respuesta debe de encajar con la pregunta. Ahí le dicen, no, ella limpia solamente el primer piso. Entonces, ¿cuál podría maybe, ser la pregunta? Maybe, does she clean the second floor? Exactly. Does she clean the second floor? No, she doesn't. She, she cleans, cleans the first the floor, floor only. Very good. Or does she clean all the floors? Exactly. Does she clean all the floors? También es válido. Very good. Porque la respuesta empieza de forma negativa. Entonces la pregunta tiene que ser algo donde le van a, donde va a encajar el no, ella no lo hace. Porque de, usted está complementando la respuesta diciendo she cleans the first floor only. Solamente limpia el primer piso. Uh -huh. Questions. And number four, yes, he does. Eric keeps track on the sales. Vamos eh, a ver. Querés... Ajá, go ahead, go ahead. Como no ya participé. Ajá. Anybody? Alguien más? Podría ser does he track on the sales? Ajá, excellent. Does he keep track on the sales? Does he keep track on the sales? Yes, he does. Eli oh, okay. keeps track on the sales. Or can you say, does Eric keep track on the sales? Exactly. Yes. You can say Eric or you can say he. The two options are good. A ver, ¿quién identifica cuál es el error que hay en esa número cuatro? Donde dice, Eric keeps track on the sales. Sales. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the correct form, Rose? Sales. Exactly. Exactly. Ahí está sell, vender. Sales. Pero no estamos diciendo vender, sino que estamos diciendo ventas. Ventas. Exactly. Sí. So ahí es un error que se dio um, cuando imprimieron el, el, el libro. Sell significa el vende, ella vende. Pero no estamos diciendo vende, sino que estamos diciendo ventas. Sales. Sales. Yes, he does. Eric keeps track on the sales. Any questions? He trap is a, uh, how do you say? Like monitor. What? Like monitor. Keep track. Yes, but keep track is like when you say keep in touch. No. How, no. Keep track is monitorear. Usted dice, eh, el lunes tuvimos 20 ventas, el martes tuvimos 15, el miércoles tuvimos 30. ¿Cómo tengo esos números? Porque estoy, estoy keeping track on the sales. Los estoy monitoreando. O también seguir como la pista, vea. Ya, yeah, como darle seguimiento. Eso significa keep track. Sí, ok, yes, but my, my question is... Keep track is how do you say una como una palabra que va junta. Um, que va unida. O sea, por ejemplo, keep track. Can, you, can I say can I say only does Eric track? Uh, yes, you can. Yes. Sí. sí. Okay. Yes. Ah, okay. Digamos, un detective le va a decir, we need to track the criminal. Tenemos que darle seguimiento al, al, a la persona que hizo... Pero también me puede decir keep track. Keep track es mantener. Mantener el seguimiento, darle seguimiento. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Recuerde que keep 
Si yo le digo, keep going, siga. Keep reading, siga leyendo. Keep eating, siga comiendo. So keep es darle seguimiento a algo. Darle continuidad a algo. Anybody else? Alguien más? Ok. How do you say tomar asistencia? Yes. Uh -huh. How do you say ahorita voy a tomar asistencia en English? Now I'm going to take attendance. I'm going to take attendance, yes. Attendance. Exactly. So, como hemos hecho todos los días, I mention your name. Usted tiene que, um, ¿cómo se llama? Decir here y ponerle here a uh, personal chat. Y activate your camera. Alicia Hernández. Absent. César Argueta. Absent. Claudio Osorio. Absent. Stephanie Martínez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jacqueline Martinez. Absent. Jessica Escamilla. Por ahí de Jessica. Thank you. Catherine Hueso. Absent. Luis Martinez. Present. Present. María Esther Castillo. María, María. Absent. María Gabriela Ramos. Absent. Marta Alicia Monge. Present. Thank you. Marta Araceli Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Osmin Baires. Osmin, Osmin. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Antonia okay. Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Rick Hernández, he's absent. Roselena Salgado. Present. Good. Rosemary George. Present. Thank you. Sandra Carolina Monge. Absent. Vilma Sorto. Absent. And Janet Morales. Janet, yeah, Janet. Thank you very much. All right. Any questions? Ok, so remember, tiene que poner present en el chat. Ok, so, right now you will work in pairs, different partner. Y dice el número 6. I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part 6. Ask question to a partner about his, her daily routine. So you write a paragraph, describe what she, he does or doesn't do. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. So, va a trabajar en parejas y usted va a interrogar a su compañero y le va a hacer cualquier pregunta que se le venga a usted acerca de lo que él, él o ella hace probablemente en el trabajo y cosas que probablemente él o ella hace en su casa. Do you sleep late? Do you drive to work? Do you eat breakfast before or after you work? Do you have a coffee break? Do you eat fruits? Do you use a computer? What time do you have lunch? Do you have a coffee break in the afternoon? Y así, 
preguntas en general, ocupando do, 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 do. Según lo que le vayan respondiendo, usted lo va a ir anotando. Any questions? Preguntas? No. All right. So, recreate. Sí. Tomar, eh, ¿cómo es? Perdón, maestro. Tomar. ¿Tomar el qué? ¿Alcohol? De beber, de beber. Cabal. De beber, cabal, sí. Drink, drink. Drink. Ok, drink. drink. Yeah, drink, drink alcohol. Yeah, drink alcohol. Drink. Mire, el, el alcohol protege a la gente. Mire que los, 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 se mantiene la gente. No se enferman, no se mueren. Así que ya saben. Ok. It's Anyways. Good yeah, it's good for your health. Para el otro viernes. Uh -huh. Todos. Yeah. All right, good. So, aquí estamos. Todos tienen su pareja. Let's practice. Voy a traer agua, pero... escucha no do, yeah, do you exercise in the morning um do you exercise uh -huh. yes i do at 4 30 in the morning pero él dice que se puede se pueden hacer diferentes preguntas con respecto a lo que uno realiza uh -huh. en el trabajo en la casa. Vaya, acá. Can I work in assistant? No. Puede ser, do you. Um, what will. Eso ya sería más como. como what will you. What will you do? What will. What will you do on Saturday? Te podía preguntar qué vas a hacer el sábado. Porque te estoy preguntando en un futuro. Y vos me puedes decir, I'm going to. Pero sí es más complicado. <risa> ok, entonces uno sería, do you use Gmail? 
Do you? Sí, te pregunto, do you use, use, ay, no sé cómo usa, Gmail? Yeah. Ah, do, yes, uh, do, do you use Gmail? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I use Gmail, I, uh, yes, I do. Ah, es que I, cuando yes, yes, I do. Cuando digamos, no, I, I do. don't. Yes, I do. Uh, I have Gmail. Oh, I use. Yes, I do. I use Gmail. Yeah, that is correct. Yes, it's correct. Yeah, okay. yeah. May I ask you, um, do you like um do you like um apples yes i do mm -hmm. only that or yes i do i like apples yes i do i like apples okay mm -hmm. okay you drink coffee Enjoy. ¿Cómo dijo? In In office. Coffee. Officer, officer de oficina. La, officer. Ah, la oficina. Oh, yes. Sí. Ok, very good. Very good. Ok. When, no, no, perdón. La pregunta sería: eh, where, where, where were you? Uh, where were you? It were. Este, este no lo work, entiendo. Work, 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 cover, work, trabajo. Bueno, yeah, what work, kind of work? work? What kind of work? Ah, bien. Ahí está la aclaración. Work, school. School. Uh, how many hours work in your school? Oh, uh, yes, estoy en una escuela. How many time? How many, yeah, how many schools? How many time in your school? How many times or how much time? Uh, how, how? Uh, how many times? Ok, oh, how many times le está preguntando cuántas veces. Si usted le dice how much time, le está diciendo cuánto tiempo. Uh, ¿cuánto le tiempo? preguntaría, pero un Peter, ¿cuántas horas? How many sería? hours? How many hours? Ah, how, how many hours? Five. How many hours work in your school? How many hours do you work in your school? Very good. Nice. Five hours. Five hours. ¿Por qué le está cinco haciendo? Horas. Él está preguntando cuántas horas trabaja usted. Se le dice cinco, cuatro, tres, siete. Five. Okay. Cinco. Good. Five. Oh, good. Thank you. Good. Very good. Okay. Es una es daily routine. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, fine. Hi. Good, good. How are you, Jessica? I'm fine. Okay. Jessica Escamilla, okay. And Stephanie Martin. Martinez. Yeah. Ha estado bien su asistencia. Se ausentó dos días seguidos, pero ya está back on track. Y Jessica es que ya ha estado aceptable. Ajá, Stephanie. Ah, es que la primera vez fue una confusión. Es que mire, le voy a explicar esa confusión. El jueves pasado fue específicamente. Yo, según yo le entendí a usted, que como usted dijo, the next week, aquí vamos a ver lo que hacíamos en el trabajo Ajá. Entonces yo dije, quizás no dan clase los viernes, porque quizás dan clase son de lunes a jueves. Entonces yo le dije a una compañera que también está acá, 
en el grupo. Mira, yo creo que mañana no hay clases porque el chico dijo que la próxima semana íbamos a ver eso. Y usted dijo eh, que tuviéramos un, un excelente fin de semana. Entonces yo dije, ah, sí, pues no hay clases. Entonces yo <risa> le dije a ella. <risa> Entonces dice que ella tampoco se conectó por eso. Okay. Y ya después no me conecté porque estaba enfermo. Ok, very good, no problem. Pero ahora ya sabe que sí hay clases los viernes. <laughs> sí. O ya no hay excusa. <laughs> ok, very good. No problem. Vamos a ver. Let's go back to the main session. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, okay. Any questions about the exercise? So, recuerde, las preguntas podían ser relacionadas al trabajo o relacionadas a su vida personal. ¿Qué pregunta le puede hacer usted a alguien relacionada al trabajo? Eh, podría okay. ser, ¿a what time do you wake up? What time do you wake up? Is that personal or work related? Both. Maybe. <laughs> Because you wake up to go to work and you wake up to do like a hobby or go to. Okay. What time do you wake up? Okay. How do you say temprano in English? Early. Early. Tarde. Late. 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 Okay. <laughs> Average. No. Average. Average. Okay. So, Can you write, please? Sure. Okay. Right now. So, le pueden preguntar, do you wake up early or do you wake up late? Y usted responde, I wake up average. Ahí está escrito. Average. Average. Average means promedio. Average. Okay. Ah, vamos a preguntar. Y una pregunta podría ser, do you, do you like? Ajá. Do you, do you like a work? Do you like to work? Do you like to work? To work. Um, yes, do you like to work? Mm -hmm. Okay. Rosalena, can you give me one question related to work? Do you have a breakfast? Do you no, have no, no. Do you have a break time? Break time. Do you have a break time? Very do good. you have a break time? Yes, I do. I have a break time at 9 a.m., for example. Okay. Antonio, uh, yeah, go ahead, Rosa. Rosa. Uh, can I ask, do you do you swim or do you can swim? No. Do you swim? Do you swim? Okay. Do you yes. swim? Yes. Do you swim? Okay. Okay. Antonia, can you share one of your questions? Puede compartir una de sus uh, preguntas? Mm. Do you Do you use Do you see email? Do you use email? Very good. Do you use email? Yes, I do. I use email every day. Every day. Very good, Antonia. Rosemary, what is your question? Rosemary. Rosemary. Um, what do you... Hola, hola. What yeah, do you do on Sundays? Uh, but what do you do on Sundays besides surfing? Okay. What do you do on Sundays besides um, surfing? What okay. do you do on Sundays besides surfing? Uh huh. Vamos a hacer de caso que yo surfeo. Nunca he surfeado en mi vida. Ya le vamos a decir a Luis que nos dé unas clases ahí. Uh, besides surfing, I, 
I go to the park with my children. Besides. Y esa es la palabra que ocupó Rosemary. Ella dijo, besides. ¿Qué significa besides? Uh, Después además de. de. Además de, aparte además de. de. Ajá. Además de, aparte de. Besides. La pregunta de Rosemary fue, what do you do besides surfing on Sunday? Algo así era la pregunta. Me preguntaba qué hacía, a, aparte de surfear, qué hacía los domingos. So, I go to the park, I go to church, I sleep during the day. Aparte de, de, de esa no me la sabía, el ingeniero Luis me la enseñó. ¿Cuál? Besides. Besides, ajá. Uh -huh. Good, good, very good. De, de eso se trata, que trabajemos en equipo. Besides, yes. Good. Nice. Marta Monge, what is your question? Está apagado el micrófono, Marta. Does he, does he have English class? Does he have English class? Who, Marta? ¿A quién se está refiriendo? Who? Does he have? Yeah. Su pregunta está muy buena. Pero le pregunto. Tiene clases de, ¿tiene clase sí. de inglés. Sí, la pregunta está bien y está clara. Ahora le pregunto, ¿de quién habla? Cuando dice he. De él. Does he. Pero ¿quién es él? Mi hermano, mi hijo, mi vecino. Ah, mi hijo. <laughs> okay. Uh, does he have English classes? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Very good. Stephanie Martinez, what is your question? Um, what time do you usually? What time do you what? Do you usualmente? What time do you usually? Do you usually leave work? What time do you usually leave work? Mm -hmm. I usually leave work about 5 p.m. Eh, no sería what time do you usually you leave? What time do you usually go to work? No. No, puede ser a qué horas me voy a trabajar como también a qué horas me vengo del trabajo. So the two questions are valid. So Stephanie's question was, what time do you leave work? I leave work at 5 p.m. Eh, perdón, y no sería, what time do you usually leave to work? No. Si está hablando en la mañana, a qué horas me voy a trabajar, sí está bien. Ah, pero usted está hablando cuando se va del trabajo. Exactly, a casa. exactly, ah, okay. exactly. Yes. Good, very good. Marta Rodríguez, what is your question? Um, Janet rest on Saturday. Okay, does Janet rest on Saturday? One more time. Yes, she does. Rest okay, on Maya, pero pregúnteme otra vez. One more time. Ask me one more time. Okay. Wow. Does Janet... Does Janet rest on Saturday? Yes, she does or no, she doesn't. I think Janet um, rests on Saturday, I think. Yes. Good. yes. Okay, yes. very good. Thank you, Marta. Janet, what is your question? Um, do you like listen to music? Do you like to listen to music? I love listening to music. Pregúnteme mm -hmm. cuál es mi música favorita. What is what? your favorite music? What is what your is favorite your, music? Yeah, what is your favorite music? ¿Se recuerdan cuando le respondí eso? The first day of class. Iron Maiden. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> No. You're wrong. Black child. <laughs> what is your favorite music? What is your what favorite is music? Your favorite music. Yeah, les dije el primer día. My favorite rap. 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 Exactly. Yes. <laughs> what is 
is your you like? Do you like Eminem? I like Eminem. He has. I. I don't. I'm not a fan of Eminem. You you seem like an like an Eminem. <laughs> uh, I sing like him. No, I'm just playing. I cannot rap, <laughs> but I like like three or four songs from him. So do you like Tupac or Snoop Dogg? Oh, Tupac, he's good. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. sing us a song. <laughs> Ice Cube. You know, if I sing here, I can get in trouble with my manager. Él me ha dicho, no andes cantando en cualquier lugar, me dice, tened cuidado. Oh, so, oh. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, I like Tupac. Uh, uh, so you like old school? Old school, Be yeah. Because Tupac, Tupac, I like for the 90s, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Notorious so, but, B.I.G. But Tupac is dead. Yeah, he's dead. They killed with him. No, with Notorious B.I.G., uh -huh. Right, right. Okay, Janet, what is your question, Janet? Okay, uh, does Marta have a children? Does Marta have children? Children. Uh huh. Yes, she does. She mm -hmm. has two children. Okay, excellent. Very good. Osmin, what is your question, Osmin? Okay, do you use computer? Yes. I use computers every day, every day. Oh, Good. And Jessica okay. Escamilla. Uh huh. Jessica. Do you Camilla. like your work? I love my work. I love my work. Yes. Good. Very good. Any questions? Can so, I ask? Uh, can I ask? Uh, do you go to do you go to work by bus? Yes. Yes. Do you go to work by bus? I go to work sometimes by motorcycles, sometimes by car. And sometimes if I don't have a car, if I don't have a motorcycle, I go either by bus or by taxi. Okay. Yes. So I experience different types of transportation. <laughs> yes. Ok, very good, nice. So fíjense bien, le voy a poner un nombre. Hágame una pregunta acerca de esta persona usando DAS. Uh, does Michael Jordan was the best player in the world? Okay. Was Michael Jordan? Was, yes, yes, sorry. Uh-huh. Was Michael Jordan the best player in the world? I think that Michael Jordan has been the best basketball player of all times. Yes. He was good. Did you see the Netflix documentary of him? No, I, I haven't. No. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Okay, is it real, like his real life? Yeah, it's a, it, yeah, it's real. It's like a documental of his life. Like a, like a biography? Like, yeah, like a shot of, of his life when the tournament and the players and his team, it's like a documental, uh-huh. All right, good. Alguien más que me pregunte algo de Michael Jordan? Does Michael Jordan play with um, Miami Heat. Ah, uh, uh, si, nos re, si nos vamos allá por el año 95, yo diría, <laughs> no, he doesn't. He okay. works with the Chicago Bulls. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> Can you say in which team Michael Jordan was? Uh, yeah, in which team uh, was Michael Jordan? Ah, was Michael in Jordan. Yeah, in which team was Michael Jordan? Oh, he was in the Chicago Bulls. Ajá. Pregúnteme si él vive en Estados Unidos. Does Michael Jordan live in the United States? Does Michael Jordan live in the United States? Yeah. Does Michael Jordan live in ese? O si no quiere decir Michael Jordan, solo va a decir he. Does he live in the United States? 
how, how do you spell live? L E B E. L I V E. L I V E. L I V E. Right. Okay, vamos a poner another one. So, so, so when yeah. did you say that Michael Jordan lives in the United States or in United States? Mm -hmm. In the United States. In the, uh -huh. Yeah, en ese caso, um, los Estados Unidos de América, usted tiene que decir the United States. Es parte del nombre oficial, the United mm -hmm. States of America. Or USA, right? Or USA. He will be in Argentina. Uh, okay. Ahí les va otro. El último antes de cambiar tema. El mágico González. What can you say about him? ¿Qué me puede preguntar? Does Mágico uh, González, does Mágico González play in Cádiz? Okay. Does he play in Cádiz? In the past, he did. Not okay. anymore. Uh, does he still play? Uh huh. No, he doesn't play anymore. But I think he's a, a coach. I think he's a coach. Does living Magic Magico Gonzalez? Okay. Does Magico Gonzalez live? Live. Okay. Uh huh. O o en el mejor de los casos diría, is Magico Gonzalez alive? Yes, he's okay. alive. Okay. Thank okay. you. Anybody else? Hay de caso que está hablando con alguien que sabe mucho de la vida de él. ¿Qué le preguntaría acerca de Mar del Mágico González? Hey, where Mágico González born? Where was Mágico González born? Uh -huh. He was born in Colonia Luz. Colonia Luz. El Salvador. In San Salvador, yeah. Where, where is Colonia Luz? In which county? Uh, or in which state? Okay, do you know, who knows Colonia Luz? Excellent. ¿Dónde está la Colonia Luz? Vamos a ver. Near, near Montserrat, no? Yeah, near Montserrat. Next to Montserrat. Yeah. In front of San Mateo. San Mateo neighborhood. Yeah, Colonia Luz. No, no era de la Colonia Luz, es de la... Dina. No, de la... Algo de septiembre, 10 de septiembre o 15 de septiembre, something like that. But in that area, in that area. Exactly. ¿Ya han oído de los pachines? Yes, the brother of the magic. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. El Magicos Brothers, yes. All right, good. Yeah. Any questions? Questions, questions. No. Vamos a ver qué más tenemos por acá. ¿Cómo podría preguntar uh -huh. lo ha visto en persona? Have you ever seen him in person? Okay. Have you, Have you ever him? seen him in person? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen him in person? Yes. Okay. Any questions or comments? Have you ever seen seen S E E N S E E N Yes. Have you ever seen? Uh huh. Okay. Any other questions? Uh -huh. Fue un excelente jugador el mágico González. Sería así. The magic the magic González was was an excellent player. Okay. Was Magico González an yes. excellent player? Yes. Okay. Was Magico González an excellent was player? Magico, yes, uh, he was. was. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I think uh, Magico González has been the best Salvadorian soccer player. Okay. And can you repeat? Was Magico González an excellent player? Yes. An or a? Uh, no. No. An. an. An, an excellent an, player. An excellent player. Uh -huh. An excellent player. The yes. Magico was, was Magico an Gonzalez. excellent player. Was Magico Gonzalez. Was Magico Gonzalez. Uh -huh. Was yeah. Magico Gonzalez. An excellent player. 
no era de mágico. <laughs> no, was no. mágico González. Was mágico González, ok. Right, right. Ok, any other questions, people? Was mágico. Okay, what do you guys understand by daily routine? What's a daily routine? Lo que hago siempre todos los días. Uh -huh. It's for... Uh-huh, it's for... Activities that you have uh, every day. Exactly, activities that you have every day. So, what is the first thing you do? When wake first up. of all, wake up and wake up. my teeth. What do you do next after you wake up? I, I take brush a shower. my teeth. Okay, I brush my teeth, I take a shower. Go to the gym. Go to the gym, mm -hmm. uh, read the newspaper, turn on my computer. What time do you usually have breakfast? At 7.15 a.m. At 7.15? Yeah. Okay, good. Do you have a coffee break in your office? Uh, no, just lunch. Okay, good. How much time is your lunch? One hour. One hour. One hour is good. Okay, ¿qué más le puede agregar a su rutina diaria en las tardes? I leave, I leave work at 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, okay. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay. I leave work at 6 p.m. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. How do you say llegar in English? Arrive. Arrive. What is a synonym of arrive? Get there. Yes. So you go like this. You say... I've arrived home at 6 p.m. Or I get home okay. at 6 p.m. Right there. So arrive, llegar, arribar. And arrive is a synonym of get. So the two options are good. I arrive home at 6 p.m. I get home at 6 p.m. Antes que se me olvide, ¿cómo van con la platform? ¿Ya terminaron unit two? Yes. So recuerde, el, 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 el que usted se conecte es muy importante porque usted está practicando, se está exponiendo al idioma. Eh, pero igual manera tiene que ponerle atención al, al a la platform, to the platform. Recuerde que va a necesitar un 80% uh, de todos los ejercicios tienen que estar complementados para poder eh, seguir con, con el siguiente nivel. So keep that in mind. Todos los sábados yo debo de subir uh, las notas que ustedes han sacado en, en, en el platform. Si digamos yo hice el ejercicio 2 de la unidad 1 y me saqué un 6, por decir así, yo puedo regresar a ese mismo ejercicio y mejorar el score. So, that is something that you guys need to do. How do you say yo tomo una siesta en la tarde? I take a nap. I take in a the, nap in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Do you eat between meals? Yes. Yes. Between meals. Do you eat between meals? Yes, I do. What do you usually eat between meals? A green apple and a cookie. Okay. What kind of cookie? Um, a power one, but I don't remember the name. 
Okay. How do you say avena? Um, oak. Oat. Oak. Oak. Oat. 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 Oat cookie. Oat cookie. Yeah. Oat cookies are good. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Minx avena. Oatmeal. Yes. All right. How much water do you guys drink? A lot. Mm -hmm. Marta, how much water do you drink? <laughs> how much water do you drink, Marta? Marta Guaveria, Marta. No tengo idea cómo que me preguntaron, a ver. Dos litros, tres litros de agua. Three. Three liters. Three liters. Sí. Three okay. liters. Okay. All right. So, aquí vamos con la última intervención. Nos van quedando como seis minutos de clase. <coughs> Quickly, uh, trabaja en pareja y le dice a su compañero, what is your daily routine? Entonces, su compañero le va a decir, I wake up at six in the morning, I take a shower, I have breakfast. Y va a empezar a reciclar el vocabulario que usted ya tiene conocimiento. So here we go. Break a rule. So it's, what are your daily routine? What, are what is? Your, what is? What, uh, yeah, what is, what your, is your daily routine? What okay. is your daily routine? So move to five. And move to three. All right. Ah, aquí se está quedando esta chica. And room two. All right. So let's do this. Ya casi no vamos. We're almost finished.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yo sé que estaban en medio de la actividad. Uh, do you have any questions or comments about today? I have a question. I yes, have a question about the platform. Yes, sir. So we have to be at section two, unit two, daily routines. Exactly. So midterm is for the next week. Yes, sir. So okay. you're supposed to have unit one ready, unit two uh -huh. ready. So every week we cover one unit. So it's ah. everybody's responsibility to finish that particular um, unit on a particular day. Yep. So midterm is from the next week, right? For next yes. week. Yeah. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No. Thank you very much for your time. Two hours of your precious times, uh, of your precious time. So um, we, you, con we continue Monday, same place, same time. Have a good night. Have a nice weekend. Good evening. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye -bye. See you Monday. See you later. See you Monday. Monday, right? Good Not night. later. Good Monday. Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. You Happy too. Weekend. Thank you. You too.